Mentality. Um, I feel like our, room, our, our receiver room, we we got depth in there of guys who can come in and play and perform just as as Travis, as as Jimmy, and all those other guys too. So I just mainly just told them like next man up, let's go, like step up. It's time, it's y'all time now. So all that y'all feel like y'all can play on Saturdays, like now it's time to show it. So that's all I just told them. Hello, Jonte. Just throughout this season, how do you feel like you and Shador's relationship has grown and developed? Bro, I think it is it's just getting started. For um, uh, we we just giving you previews, a little sneak peeks. I don't feel like we um, fully had a complete game where me and him were just on the same page completely. I think we're growing uh, day by day, and it's only gonna get better, and it's only gonna go up from here. Hello, John Ty, Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. Obviously, if you guys aren't able to get Travis and Jimmy back for this week, how much does it help that you're, yourself and Will are kind of used to having that number one wide receiver workload? Do you, does that give you confidence that you guys won't have much of a drop off just because you're used to that, that kind of high um, workload? Like I said, um, I feel like our receiver room is, is really deep and has a lot of experience. Even the young guys who don't have actual game time experience, uh, just the way they practice and attack the day, um, I feel I'm real confident in our group, and, and I don't think it's going to be any fall off if they don't play. Hey, Dante. Um, two weeks ago, your brother Jalen had a big game against UCF. Just mm -hmm. what was it like seeing him kind of go there next round game? Uh, man, uh, I, I just tell them every game, like, y'all see us pray and stuff before uh, the games. I just tell them, like, man, be you and, and play your game, have fun out there. Because when he do that and he's flying around like that, I mean, Y'all see the results of it, so that's that's all I tell him. And it's a good, it's good, and I'm blessed to be able to see him be able to perform at this level too. So it's great. Lejonte, you talk about the next man up mentality, uh, but when you see a, a teammate like Omari and Miller have the make the plays that he did, and then go down with an injury, as a veteran, is there anything you can say to, to somebody like that to kind of get them through this period? Um, just 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 be there for them. That's that's pretty much all you can do. Um, and it it hurt more because before the game he he was feeling it like he told me like that's this gonna be one of them games where he feel like he gonna be able to get off so I mean it kind of hurt it it def not kind of it definitely hurt seeing him go down you know especially go down and this that 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 type of way where he can't shake back quick from it so I mean the most important thing for 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 me to do is just be there for him because it's bigger than the game man you get. Players have injuries like that, and they mental start having uh, being depressed and being mental health stuff like that. So my my main thing is just being there for them. If you need anything, just go see them. You know, so that's all I can do right now. Hey, Lejante, uh, Pat Graham, so share press. Uh, just to doing? kind of expand a little bit on Shador, you know, he's gonna be a arguably top five pick in the NFL draft. What what makes him so special, and what makes uh, I don't know catching passes from him? Maybe different than other quarterbacks. Um, uh, he's a pro. He's a his IQ level is insane. Um, his throwing ability, um, his ability to be able to prolong plays and extend plays and still be able to make uh, throws down the field. Um, so just all of that in one. Um, he's really just the complete quarterback. The quarterback that I've been looking for pretty much my all, all of my college career. So I mean, I'm I'm glad to be on his side. How's the team mood at this point to come off of a game like that where um, you guys know you didn't play your best but could have won that game? Definitely. Um, I mean, we we just trying to get that bad taste out of our mouth right now. Um, right now, you could just see everybody know know we could have won that game. Um, know we should have won that game, and we can't we can't keep the welling on it. It's on to the next on to Arizona, and everybody preparing and ready to get back in the, in the win column for Arizona. So. That's all we can do right now. Hey, Lejeune, say, you doing? when you watch the Well Off Media videos, we've heard from Travis and Shador, it seems like there's a collaborative process on that. <coughs> it's a good idea, speak up and say something. Mm -hmm. Does it, is, is that what it 
feels like for you, like if you, you see something on the field, they're open and receptive to kind of hearing your point of view? Yeah, definitely. Um, everybody everybody has to say so on the um, offensive side. I mean, you can't do this just with one person. Um, I mean, Shador, he, 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 he has to see a lot of stuff on the field. I mean, he don't see everything. So just being able to come back to the sideline and communicate what we see, what, how, how the D, uh, DB is guarding us or anything like that. So, I mean, just to be able to communicate and have them open conversations on the sideline during the game, I think uh, helps our performance during the game. Is that, sorry, a little fall, is that different than where you've been before? Um, I wouldn't say it's different, but it's different because, you know, it getting took in, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, everywhere you're going to have players come back on the sideline, oh, I was open or this, that, and the third, but it's a difference when it's getting taken in and we're able to make adjustments and, and going on about the uh, game plan. This is good, Shante. Uh, Scott Brown, Colorado. Uh, yes, five straight games with a touchdown for you, seven tugs this season. Uh, what do you think it is that makes you so effective kind of in the red zone, in scoring position? When you guys kind of get close to the scoring zone, do you kind of feel like it's your time to kind of you know, finish your drive with, with a score? I mean, um, I mean, coming here, I knew I wasn't going to be able to um, get as much touches that I um, got at FAU. So I knew, so I know, like, going into every game, I got to capitalize on every touch that I get. And it just so happened, every touch, touch that I get be close to the red zone. And every time we close to the red zone, it's mandatory I put it in the box. So that's just my, my, my main goal, just every time I touch it, try to put it in the box. So, I mean... We just gotta keep it rolling now, <laughs> so it's still, so we can start winning. How you doing, Dante? What's good, bro? <coughs> hey, so if you score seven times, do you plan in your mind what you gonna do when you score? Cause you got a different chance every time you get something. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely be at home practicing. <laughs> Cause I already know, man. Listen, listen, when it, when I get it, I'm trying to score. So, and football is entertainment. And it's hard to score a touchdown on college. So every time I score, I'm trying to entertain the fan and entertain my family and, and have fun. That's it, mainly. So that's it. That's it. Anything else for Lachante Wester? All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.